How you doing? This is Stanford Smith with Pushing Social and in this video today I'm actually going to show you how to actually customize elements of your theme, of your WordPress theme. And really I can't get into a lot of depth about this because there are millions of ways for you to customize your WordPress themes. But I want to show you just a quick and dirty way of doing it um, that uses a tool called Firebug for to allow you to be able to go in, look at specific pieces that you want to change of your WordPress theme, and then be able to go into the CSS or the cascading style sheet of your WordPress theme and then make minor changes. Now, I'm going to warn you that this will require you to understand a little bit about CSS. It will also um, require you to be comfortable with modifying the CSS files on your WordPress theme. Now with any changes that you do on your WordPress blog, I always, always, always caution you to back up your partic the particular page that you're going to work on. So if you're going to be working on a CSS file, go ahead and save that CSS file, make a copy of it somewhere else. So just in case you mess up, you can go back and restore the file and then you'll be okay. So try to follow along with me on each of these steps and of course if you have any questions go ahead and ask me in the comments section that should be underneath this video and we'll go from there okay so now you see here up on the screen I have the test site that we've been working on in these videos and let's say for instance that I want to change how this headline looks okay so how to spot a social media expert which was a recent post on pushing social now one way that I that I go about doing this that actually works very well is that I use a plugin called Firebug. Now, Firebug is an extension or an add-on for Firefox. So, to in order to use it, you're going to need to use the Firefox browser, which I'm using here for this video. And what you can do is you can go to addons.mozilla.com or just search for Firefox extensions and go to the Mozilla link and you'll see here that you'll get to a screen like this and you can actually type in Firebug which is the extension and then it'll take you to this screen and then you can actually add to Firefox. It will do its magic and in a few minutes you'll be asked for a prompt um, to go ahead and install it in your Firefox. It will go ahead and install it for you, restart Firefox and you'll be ready to go. You'll know that the f extension has been added because you'll see a little button right here that actually gives you your options for Firebug. Okay, so I'll show you how to use that in just a second. So let's go back to our test and let's say that I want to change this piece right here, how this headline looks. I would click this Firebug button or you can go up to the Tools Navigation um, link in your Firefox browser and then go to Firebug and then open Firebug. You probably, you didn't see that because I did that off screen, but just know that in your navigation up top, there will be a tools link in Firefox. Click that tools link, you'll see Firebug in that drop down menu and click on that or mouse over it and then click on open Firebug. Okay? And what you should see when you do that is that you'll get a panel underneath your window okay and what you want to do is you want to resize this a bit so you can see what's going on and you want to click this little bug or <laughs> this little bug this little button right here and what that does is that allows you to mouse over your template or your page and actually go to a specific entry or a specific element so in this case I want to look at this element right here which is that title okay and click it and what you may have noticed here is that in this panel down here it actually tells me that where this particular titles attributes are being handled and you can see here that it's in my style.css and you want to make sure that you remember that that's in your style style.css and it's actually being manipulated with a class called entry-title now if you have no clue of what I just said, just remember this. This is where you're going to change the elements of your title, okay? So you want to actually find this in your CSS. And basically this is saying that the color of your headline is black. And if you mouse over it, you can actually see that it brings up black. 
you can see that the font size is 21 pixels it's bold it has 1.3 em um, in terms of its line height or the amount of space between it and the next line and it has no margin on the bottom now let's say that I would like to change this to a different color okay or no let's just make it easier let's say we want to change the font size let's say that we want to change that to 28 pixels now you can do one of two things or well, let me take a step back if you want to just demo and see how that will look without making any changes to your CSS you actually can click on that and type in 28 pixels and it will actually show you on the screen up here exactly how that will look let's say I'm going to change that to 42 pixels just to really take a look and you can see right there that it gets to 42 pixels and actually that doesn't look too bad especially if you are wearing glasses like me um, so let's say we want to go ahead and do that and change all of our titles to 42 pixels now, this is how you would do it remembering that this is in your style.css you would actually go to your back your back end or your dashboard that you can find at wp-admin of your blog and you want to scroll down and you can actually click out of here because it's not showing you any good information here that closes down the firebug browser and you can go to appearance and you can go to editor okay now here's what you're going to have to do here the file that you want to edit is that style.css remember I told you to remember that and if you scroll down you'll see that is actually right here style.css you want to click on that and this is all of the information that governs your page that you're looking at and remember that we wanted to change the entry title okay so let's go ahead and look at that one more time so you remember it it's the entry dash title we want to change so the best way to find that is to go here and do a search for it so go in here I use control F just to find a particular word and I type it in here and you can see that it will start to bring me all of the entry dash title pieces okay in my site or the entry dash title um, class styles in my CSS and you can see here I just hit next and I was able to find the one that I wanted let me go ahead and get rid of this panel so I have more size and you'll see that this looks exactly like it did on that other screen okay and you see here font size that's what we want to change and we wanted to change it to 42 now one aside that you have to make sure that this can trip you up is that before you can actually make any changes in this file you're gonna to have to make sure that your file is writable before you can save any changes and that just basically means that you have to open up your file or your FTP program and then you're gonna to have to find the CSS file and then change its permissions over to a writable permission which is usually if you want to change it over I usually change it to a 777 file permission now I will attempt to show you this very quickly um, but if you have any problems doing it yourself you can do a search for it in Google and it will get tons of helpful tutorials on how to change your file permissions you can do it through your FTP browser you can do it through your cPanel so there's many different ways of doing it so I'm gonna show you uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop into my FileZilla, which is my FTP software that I use to do all of my changes on the back end. It's super easy to use. So we'll just wait one moment here and I'll pop into my back end and navigate over here and then show you that window. Okay, now we're looking at the my FileZilla window and you can see in here that I've pulled up the theme and this is where you want to navigate to if you want to change over your style sheet. Um, that CS style.css that we saw in the previous window. Um, so you want to go to your themes for your particular WordPress install and go into the specific theme that you're wanting to change. And once you click into it, 
you'll see your style.css here. Now if I scroll over here, you'll see that it has a permission of 644, which means that no one can access it. And that also means that, that we, won't, we won't be able to change it from our dashboard or our admin area within WordPress. So we want to change that over to 777, just like I've previously mentioned. So the best thing to do is just right click here, go to your file permissions, and then go ahead and just change that over to 777 here. Now, I caution you not to leave that at 777. Once you get done, you want to change it back to 644 so you don't have any security problems, okay? Basically, 777 means that anyone can change this file if they have the FTP software. So you don't want to do that, so go ahead and change that back to 644 once you're done. But by doing that, you see that now that it's changed over, you should be able to go back into your style.css, hit refresh, and it should tell you at the bottom here that you're able to update this file. This is what you want to see is this button to update the file. So let's go down and find our that area, the entry title again. Remember this is what we saw before and we wanted to change that over to 42 pixels. Okay, Make it kind of big just for demonstration purposes. You just want to put in 42 there, hit your update file, it's going to do some thinking and it's going to tell you that file was edited successfully and all you have to do is pop back in to your front end and this is already at 42 but what you want to do is hit your refresh so you can see if it sticks because remember last time we were fiddling around with it or we were testing it and we already increased its size so that's at 42 now let's go back in here and I say we want it not so big so we just want to take it back down to 28 pixels we hit update file, pump back, you know, jump back over to our test site, hit refresh, and it's down to a smaller size. Okay? So that's just a quick way of going in and changing on the back end your a particular element of your WordPress page or your WordPress post. And with Firebug, you're able to use that same method to examine and see if you can change many other pieces of your site. So if you wanted to change how this was how this looks, you can see that um, that this is governed or this particular you're posting on May 5th, 2011, that is handled by entry meta which is right here okay you can see if you scroll down here you can see that's the color is that gray color which matches up to here and the font size is 12 pixels so you can actually change that if you wanted to for example if we want to demo that we wanted to make that a lot let's say 16 pixels we can do that and you can actually see that it increases right here just to give you a look of how it would change and then you will go through the exact same process of going to your back end and looking through your CSS file for entry meta. So I'm going to just search for it really quickly. And once I find it in my CSS file, I'm able to change it over here, just like we did for the title. So that is how you can use the, your file, Firebug, the application add on for Firefox, along with changing your style.css in your admin area of your WordPress site to change any element pretty simply on your WordPress blog.